Hey guys, do you know which bird is the fastest in the world? The hero of today's video leaves not only its relatives, but all the animals on the planet far behind. Today, we'll be talking about the peregrine falcon, a calculating and fearless hunter who definitely deserves your attention. The ancestors of the peregrine falcon lived on our planet more than 8 million years ago. In the course of evolution, birds have divided into several species. One of them was the peregrine falcon, along with the jur falcon, saker falcon, and logger falcon. The peregrine falcon is a bird of prey that belongs to the falconidae family, which lives in almost all corners of our planet except for Antarctica. By its appearance, this species looks more like a crow than a falcon. The peregrine falcon has sharp wings with a bluish tint, while its lower feathers are red, resulting in quite an unusual coloring. Unlike many other bird species, there's no significant difference between the coloring of the male and female peregrine falcons. However, females are much larger than males. If the males weigh about 600 grams, then the weight of the females reach up to one and a half kilograms. The peregrine falcon is the fastest bird in the world. It can speed up to 390 kilometers per hour, its officially recorded figure. However, most of the time, the peregrine falcon flies at a speed of about 320 kilometers per hour. All falcons are skillful predators, and the peregrine falcon is no exception. And in the overwhelming majority of cases, it preys on other birds. This predator is most active in the morning and evening. It can look out for prey from its hideout for a long time. It can also fly low above the ground so as not to attract too much attention. The peregrine falcon has chosen its target. One of these pigeons will definitely fall prey. However, the prey seems to be able to match the predator in horizontal speed, so the falcon stops the pursuit and changes tactics. This time, the falcon decides to trust the power of gravity. Having locked the target, the peregrine falcon rushes down like a stone, accelerating with every second. It develops an unprecedented vertical speed, and like lightning from the sky, it falls on the pigeon, leaving it absolutely no time for a reaction. The pigeon is completely powerless against such an attack. The peregrine falcon's large eyes allow it to lock in on the target from a distance of more than one and a half kilometers, but it still needs to try and catch the dexterous and maneuverable starling. The surprise effect will once again come to its aid. The hunter pulls back its wings to achieve the most streamlined shape, which allows it to gain tremendous speed in a matter of seconds. Approaching the victim, the peregrine falcon spreads its wings like a parachute to slow down and deliver the crushing blow. By the way, Scientists believe that every fifth bird falls prey to the peregrine falcon. In addition to birds, its diet consists of rodents and other small animals. The peregrine falcon's powerful legs and sharp talons are true deadly weapons, made so effective by the falcon's tremendous speed that the claws often rip through the entire length of the prey's body. In extreme cases, the peregrine falcon can use its curved beak to break the prey's neck. The bird's nostrils are equipped with kind of partitions that guide the powerful airflow away from them, thus protecting the lungs from the damage that would be caused at this speed. The compact, narrow wings have a tapered shape to reduce the turbulence, which would be fatal at such speeds. It's worth noting that the horizontal speed of the peregrine falcon can only reach up to 100 kilometers per hour. So by this characteristic, it's noticeably inferior to the needle-tailed swift, which according to some sources, can speed up to 160 kilometers per hour. In case of danger, the fearless peregrine falcon can even attack larger predators, like this red-tailed hawk, for example. The hawk doesn't even suspect that in just a second, the falcon's claws will stick into his back. What's interesting is that falcons are monogamous. During the mating season, male falcons return to their females. That is, they choose a partner once and stay with them for the rest of their lives. Peregrine falcons build their nests on rocks and shallow depressions, where there is no vegetation, thus protecting their offspring from predators. The female sits on eggs for about a month. The first flight happens when the chicks are one and a half months old. They become adults at the age of one year. Hungry chicks demand food constantly, but along with providing food, Another important task of the peregrine falcon is to guard the nest, attacking anyone who comes dangerously close. 
The brown pelican doesn't pay attention to the warnings of the bird, which is many times smaller than it is, and makes a serious mistake. One touch of a sharp claw is enough to unbalance this giant, but the peregrine falcon isn't going to stop at that and continues its merciless attack until the poor guy is knocked into the water. At the same time, the chicks are in real danger. The gopher snake moves easily between the rocks in anticipation of easy prey. But the sharp vision of the peregrine falcon locks in on danger. One hit is enough to send the troublemaker to the foot of the mountain. Peregrine falcons were often used by hunters, for which the birds were specially trained. The peregrine falcon would catch the prey, kill it, then wait on the ground for the owner to come. But only large individuals would be used for this. Peregrine falcons were often used as guard birds, to keep crows and other birds away from strategic targets. It's also interesting to know that, for example, they're kept at airports to protect planes from getting birds into the aircraft engines. Peregrine falcons are crucial for the balance of living things on our planet. They kill rodents that harm crops and other plants. They also help regulate the number of harmful birds in nature. In ancient times, it was customary to give peregrine falcons to influential representatives of other countries. It was a way to show respect. It was considered a great present. The main enemy of the bird is human. People spread dangerous poisonous substances in the fields. As a result, peregrine falcons often eat mice, which have already been poisoned, thus causing the falcons to die as well. Specialized organizations have been created to save them. They deal with the treatment and nursing of the sick birds. To date, there's no threat to the peregrine falcon population. The bird isn't on the protection list. However, this doesn't mean that peregrine falcons don't need people's help. The situation can change at any time, and if it does, the balance of living things on Earth will be threatened. Therefore, experts recommend taking good care of the birds. So friends, leave us a comment saying who you'd like our next video to be about. Thanks for watching, like the video, and we'll see you next time.